Greetings. Today we're on the lookout in Outlook for shared mailboxes. Shared mailboxes can be set up for you so that you can access specific mailboxes. Once this has been granted, you can access the shared mailbox in the client or OWA. In the client, you would see the shared mailbox just as another folder. And in OWA, you have to log in and out of each shared folder. Let's take a look at the Outlook 2010 client first. In the list here on the left side, you'll see a list of all my folders under my account. If I want to see the uh, shared folder, scroll down to the bottom and there will be a list of different items. There's my shared demo and underneath that particular folder, I mean um, account name, folder shared folder name, the inbox and drafts and sent folders appear just like they would in my personal one. So if I want to see the mail in there, I can click on inbox and open up the particular pieces of mail that are there. If I would like to send a message as that particular um, shared mailbox, I would need to have the permission set up first from Dots to allow me to do different things. Uh, currently we can view, you can read, you can delete, and you can send as. So if I wanted to be able to send as and I had that permission, I would just click on new email and send it um, to any particular person here. Let's send it to myself, but what I want to show you here is in the from, I can then switch it to who I have access permissions to be able to send as. So here's the shared demo. So if I sent it to myself like this with a subject, um, type one in here, and put a message in. I would be sending it to myself. It would look like it came from the shared demo mailbox. So let's do a send on there. I'm going to go back up to my inbox and when I get that in here, here's that message. It looks like it came from that particular email address shared demo. Let's see what the OWA looks like in the web access. It's a little different how we can access the shared folders here. If I go to my OWA and I've logged in. I can look up here in my name on the top right and if I open the down arrow it'll allow me to open another mailbox here and I can show that then click in here I'm gonna type in shared demo and it should show me the email address and if I enter that then choose open and it'll switch over. Now you'll see what happened here is the whole um, display in OWA changed to just this particular mail inbox. And I'm in the inbox of only the shared demo. I no longer see any of my personal items over here like I did. Let's go back to the um, client. So in the client I see mine and then I can also see the shared demo down here. I don't have to log in and out of both of them. But again in OWA I have to log into the particular mailbox and then log out of that mailbox and back to mine if I want to see it uh, in my personal area. But here what we can do is the same thing I did in the client. I can do a, um, a send a new, close this out here, I can send a new message and um, I can type it to who I want. You'll see at this point it does not show me who that message is from. So if I would like to see that in here, while I'm logged into the shared demo, I'm going to go into options, see all options, and on the left side in the menu I'm going to organize the email uh, settings rather. And in the mail here I can cho choose always show from and then I can save that down here in the bottom right. And now when I go back into that mail and I go back to inbox here and I choose new if I compose a new message you'll see that the from shows uh, shared demo. Sometimes as nice as I am back in and out of um, different mailboxes and I want to be certain that I have sent that piece of mail out as that particular uh, item I'm dealing with. So I'm going to close this. We'll go back to the client and again in the client it will show up as a folder down on the left side in your folder pane and in OWA you would need to log in and log back out of your own mailbox. And there you have it.